With regard to interest rates, we continue to expect that it will be appropriate to maintain the current 0 to 1 quarter percent target range for the federal funds rate until labor market conditions have reached levels consistent with the committee's assessments of maximum employment and inflation has risen to 2 percent and is on track to moderately exceed 2 percent for some time. My name is Kasim. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the Federal Reserve and bonds. That's what we're going to talk about today. The Federal Reserve had the meaning and they decided to keep rates as low as just one quarter of a percent. Um, that does not help me as a bond investor, as a bond holder. So I decided to get rid of my bonds, move that money into other, other, other companies that, that are actually giving more interest. For example, Apple, Microsoft, uh, TSM. Uh, we are going to go over all that stuff today, so stick around. In addition, over coming months, we will continue to increase our holdings of Treasury securities and agency mortgage-backed securities, at least at the current pace. These asset purchases are intended to sustain smooth market functioning and help foster accommodative financial In addition to the Fed, the Fed cut an interest rate, they said they're going to increase their holding of mortgage-backed securities. That's, um, that's Treasuries. That's when the, the Federal Reserve, the, the central bank, that's when they decide to buy treasuries. They buy IOU from the U.S. government or corporate or, or corporation and stuff like that. And whenever the federal, when, whenever the Federal Reserve, the central bank, when they do stuff like that, um, when they buy treasuries or corporate bonds, it tends to increase um, the the stock market. The stock market tends to go up. Assets tend to go up. Um, in terms of interest rate going down, real estate prices tend to go up. Stock prices tend to go up. Um, bond, uh, the interest that you get paid from bonds tend to go down. Um, and then the value of money as well tend to go down because uh, there's more money in circulation. Now, you and I probably don't have more money because we have to work to, to make more money. But the government, they just have to write on paper saying, this is a bond, they sell it to the Federal Reserve, and the, the government gets billions of dollars in their checking account. That is what the Federal Reserve is saying right there, that he's going to increase his purchases of treasury-backed securities and mortgage-backed securities. Mortgage-backed securities are basically uh, your Fannie Mae, your Freddie Mac type of loan, loans that are backed from the government. Um, if you get a, they say, oh, this is your first time home, this is backed by the government, that kind of loan is being bought, bought out by the cent central bank, the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve, they basically just print money out of nowhere. They just change digits in the computer and they make money. That's basically how money is created. So someone like me, that I have to work hard for my money, right? I need to make sure where I put my money is going to grow over time. It's not going to lose value to inflation. Just like how the Federal Reserve lower interest rate, then the uh, prices of stocks and um, and um bonds and no the price of stocks and real estate goes up so that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to put my money where the value will go up over time um meanwhile the inf um basically i want the value of my money to go up over time and inflation if it's going up the value of my money is going up higher than inflation that is exactly what i'm trying to do with my portfolio by selling out of bonds and putting that money into high-end companies that they the top of the line in their fields and they can pay me better interest rate uh, than the Federal Reserve. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. You guys know, as you guys know already on this channel, my, my number one grow, goal is to grow my my net worth at least to my first million. That's the challenge that I set for myself. This is the million dollar challenge. Um, and I cannot get there if I'm getting just a quarter percent on bonds, right? So that is why I decided to sell out of bonds and I put that money. If we if we actually look at the the Federal Reserve website here, um, no, it's not this particular site. Maybe I, I went off of that. This is the one. This one that I'm looking for here. So if you look here, these are all the um, these are all the, the the different type of bonds that that that, that you that you can get. So U.S. U.S. government uh, securities, look at that. They're not really paying much, right? Most of them are not paying much. Thirty years, thirty years is paying paying one point one point five four percent. 
that's not much to in, for you to lend your money to the government for 30 years it's not much you're gonna lose money you know and look at the inflation index here so I sold out of that be, just for that for those reasons because we we live in a low interest rate environment right now and bonds are just not paying any interest so there's no point holding it so I bas basically took that money took that money and rotate that money into other companies like you can see here Apple Apple has Apple has performed really well um over time they've got they 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 at this point they were like at uh, hundred and thirty dollars right now they are one hundred and eighteen this could be a potential good buy who knows especially with the election um being done and everything so and then again we get a we get a this one is low as well the starting yield is pretty low but they um Apple tend to increase their dividend over time so that's that that should probably go up over time so that's why i have apple there the next one that i'm going to talk about is microsoft microsoft to same thing same thing with microsoft here they they basically tend to increase their business and grow and grow over time as well um as you can see in the past um anything after 2000 and 2000 and you invest in in Microsoft, you would have been just fine. Even just after the pandemic, they, they actually shoot up really, really, they, they did really well. And they yield a 1%, um, 1% 1 yield, starting yield. Hopefully that goes up as well over time. And then here we have our uh, Taiwan Semiconductors, that's the TSM. That's the other one that, I, that, I, that I'm recently building my holding on, the, the semiconductor company. Basically, when it comes to technology, they're the leader when it comes to um, building the brains of the computer. So they're definitely doing their thing. And they yield 1.86%, 1. 1. way better than treasuries, way better than treasuries. And I could potentially get nice growth over time on my money, as you can see in the past. Obviously, the past, what has happened in the past does not mean it's going to happen in the future. Who knows? This can drop down like crazy. I can dollar cost average into it and at the same time I'll be receiving 1.1.86% one in dividend. So we're gonna dive right into the portfolio. I'm gonna show you a few things um, that I'm that I'm moving around and I'm gonna tell you the reason why. It's basically from the response of the Federal Reserve, uh, Chairman Jerome Powell, what they decide to do with interest rate. Uh, because when you invest in bonds, when you invest in bonds, you're basically getting paid in interest, right? So if you get paid in interest and the Federal Reserve, which it, they're in charge of U.S. Money, monetary policy, the Federal Reserve is in charge of they're the central bank of the U.S., right? They're in charge of the amount of interest rate your bank pay you. They, interest, they, they, they are in charge of the amount of interest rate you get, uh, you get paid, basically. Uh, they're also in charge of the amount of interest rate the, the government pay you as a bond order. Because if you're holding bond, you are basically holding an IO or you government is giving you a piece of paper saying that they're going to pay you back your money in the future. Now, if the interest rate is at one quarter percent from the top, best believe coming um, like coming down the chain chain, you're not going to be earning much. And what what basically what basically kind of made me decide to sell out of bonds is because I just recently got some dividend dividend payment from a lot of bonds um, and as you can see they're not really that much right uh, uh, nine cents here this is one of my uh, long-term holding the seven or ten year treasuries like is like six six cents six cents um, basically bonds are not paying much of an interest right now right um, I'm grateful that I got paid but it's not paying much, so I decided to sell out of it and put that money right back into into um, stocks. So I'm basically at, at the moment I'm basically in, with the portfolio here. I sold out of my bonds pie, as you guys can see. These are some of the pies that I have and different um, sectors, uh, different sectors of the economy that I'm invested in. So I decided to sell out of the bonds pie, sell out of the bonds pie here and I'm, um, I should at least 
get like six hundred and six hundred and eighty dollars out of that proceeds and basically what would happen is that money would get put back into other companies that pay a lot better that pay a better dividend um, and mainly these are the these are the bond holdings that I'm selling out of I'm selling out of the um, one to three year treasuries I had a hundred and thirty I had a hundred and thirty seven dollars in that I'm selling out of the three to seven year treasury as well I, I had a, a hundred a hundred and two dollars in that and I'm selling out of the seven to ten year treasury I had a hundred and hundred and ten dollars in that which give a total of six hundred and eighty two dollars now most of that money is because Apple is, is, a, is a very strong company they pay a better dividend and then most um, the rest of it will also go into Microsoft here it goes into Microsoft um, it goes into uh, TSMC this is a semiconductor com uh, company they pay re relatively good dividend and then um, the other part the, the, other, the rest of the money then goes into Visa, Snowflake, and Broadcom. And then, you know, the rest of this are just my regular purchases that I that I purchase every single day. Uh, Five dollars into Neo every day. Um, Twenty dollars into Tesla every day. That's I have a video that I've done already. You guys can check out the channel. It's uh, Tesla investing twenty dollars per day into Tesla. That's what those are. And um, I, I did those videos videos already, so you can go check them out. And I will be releasing some more next week. So uh, apart from uh, apart from Tesla and Neo, basically all the bonds, all the money that I, that I, all the proceeds I'm gonna get from bonds will get reinvested back into Apple, uh, Microsoft, TSMC, Visa, Snowflake, Broadcom, and uh, Cisco System. So I, I I just wanted to sell out of it. I just wanted to sell out of it because the interest rate is so low right now, and at the same time, at the same time, inflation. The Federal Reserve said they're gonna let inflation run above two percent. For those of you guys that you don't know, inflation is basically the rate of of in, in, increasing in purchasing purchasing. Basically, inflation decreases your purchasing power. So basically, when government prints more money, there's more money in circulation. It decreases your purchasing power. So the dollar that you're earning from your job is less powerful than what it was five years ago. So the best way to counteract that is to take that money and put it into companies that they're gonna grow over time and they're gonna give you dividend. They're gonna grow above inflation over time and they're gonna give you a nice dividend. So that is it for today. Please um, check out some of some of my work on this channel. Check out some of my videos. I'm interested in dividend investing, growing my money, personal finance, um, trading. So my goal is to share with you my journey to get to a million dollars. And this video that you're watching is part of the process. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy what I do here. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. If you're not new to the channel, support the channel by watching the videos and always giving me a thumbs up i appreciate you for that thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye love you all bye.